Warm greeting from the book one. Hope all of you are doing great and enjoying listening my audiobook summaries, reviews, and outs. Yes, I recently uploaded them uh, because I want to try something new and different, and um, I really hope you like them. The book which I'm going to discuss today is based on a really interesting topic, and it um, anyone can relate to this topic. I'm sure. Uh, mostly Asian women and men and um, this book name is The Marriage Clock and it's written by Zara Rahim. Let's talk about our author first and uh, then we'll move on to the book. Zara Rahim. Zara Rahim received her MFA from California State University, Long Beach. She has a BA in English Literature and uh, currently she's working as an educator. This was her debut novel, The Marriage Clock, and it was published by William Morrow. Harper Collins in July 2019. So what's this book about? In Zara Rahim's fresh, funny, smart debut, a South Asian Muslim woman named Lala, who grew up in Los Angeles, has three months to find a husband before her parents plan to arrange a marriage for her. Can you imagine? But to Lala Abbott's traditional Indian parents, finding a husband in their South Asian Muslim American community is as easy as match, meet, marry. But for Lela, a marriage of arrangement clashes with her lifelong dreams of a Bollywood romance which has her convinced that real love happens before marriage, not the other way around. But after a series of speed dates, blind dates, online dates and even ambush dates, the dates I never heard about before, the sparks just don't fly. And now, with the marriage clock ticking and her three-month deadline looming in the horizon, Lala must face the consequences of what might happen if she doesn't find the one. Now, will Lela find the one she's looking for according to her famous list or um, she will just go for the arranged for marriage according to her parents' will? To know that you gotta read the book and readers expecting a typical fairy tale ending will be surprised and sure. Um, this is a novel with a universal story that everyone can relate to about the challenges of falling in love and then getting married according to the society's terms. This is tough, I know. So another question is that why should I chose this book to read and then review? Um, I chose this book that is The Marriage Clock by Zara Rahim because I'm always interested in reading memoir, meaning biography written from personal knowledge. Because it shows the culture, tradition, feeling from writer's point of view. One can closely relate to that and they're mostly true. So we get a sense of accomplished after we finish the reading. They give you hope, encouragement and determination to take step about something you always were hesitant about but now you have example in front of you and you can take a cue from that and learn something so this book too deals with the biggest problem that is marrying because you're getting old and people have started talking about it making marriage the main goal of your life and leaving everything else behind your dreams goals and even you this should be dealt wisely in my opinion not the other way around. So what I like the most about this book, what is the good about this book? Usually reading such books full of romance, expectations and bound with social ties give unsatisfied endings. As a reader, as a female protagonist, then seem to grow emotionally from her experience. But this is not true of the marriage clock. You will know that after you read this book. Though the book is all about romance, the man Lala meets are almost beside the point in her growing process. Her dates are a little cartoonish and sitcomish, but they're still funny and painfully true enough to make a reader nod and groan. It was so close to reality. I almost like this whole book, but I love the chapter that had a brief mention of colorism. I can well relate to Lala's predicament because as a brown desi female, I'm not often represented in mainstream media. And if represented, it is mostly in skin fairness cream ads where rejecting female because of their dark skin tone is the main idea of selling their products. Lala made a mention of this as well and um, I love this idea. Indians regardless of religion also have an Indian quality of color within their culture, although their religion does not say so. White Indians have it easier, they get married faster or succeed more in whatever endeavors they go through. Brown Indians aren't as blessed or so Lala believes. It's, it's just not with India, it, it also happens in Pakistan. And uh, Lala is stuck with being dusky as she registered on an online Muslim dating site. While 
we take it as a romantic sign to be compared to the last few minutes of a sunset it is bordering on a racist for us and it does hurt there is one aspect i didn't like about this book and that was the mixing of religion and culture zara could not differentiate between the cultural values and religious values for example one of the aspects she did, she couldn't um differentiate between them and it was the arranged marriage arranged marriage does not mean forced marriage forced marriage is totally a different thing and arranged marriage is another thing there is a huge difference between them for example in arranged marriages it occurs with the complete acceptance of both the bride and the groom and if there is no acceptance then this is the forced marriage yeah the bride and the groom may meet each other for the first time with their family's attendance but after that they meet other times get to know each other um they don't marry immediately after their first meet so in my opinion i didn't like this um aspect uh, because zara didn't go through this well i guess and it created ambiguity i would like to conclude this book the marriage club by zara rahim by saying that it is less about romance than the things we do for love only to find out that the person we've been looking for is us this was not a typical romantic comedy so those elements are present there is a depth to the narration and the characters are well well especially lala's family and friends uh and in addition to that the glimpse into the muslim indian community and cultures are wonderful the cultural values traditions and the way they plan their wedding is really amazing although there were some aspect i didn't like and i have mentioned before uh the joy of this book as mentioned above is the uh personal growth of lala and her journey to self acceptance which matters more i guess it's a feel good romance novel um dealing with so many issues which needed to be addressed um in every society it's a refreshing story delivered with a great kick of reality and i really hope you would love to read it and um i would like to rate this book by um, giving it 3 out of 5 Um I really hope you like my review and my previous videos as well. Thank you so much for listening them, sharing them and liking them and I request you to once again please share my channel with your friends and family members. Um and um I request them to subscribe it. Thank you so much.